In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create 12 options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, one design has come where I've just given some different color combination. You can just add the title. And then I've added 12 options. You can see here with the same color combination, which I've used in the center. And it is connected with the lines. So I have created two slides, uh, one with animation and another without animation. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to light gray background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to select the rectangles rounded corners. Just click it here. So it will create a small uh, rectangle. Now I'm going to change the size according to the requirement. So go to format shape and maybe I can just make it a 2.05 or two only depending on your requirement. You can just increase or decrease it shape outline i will make it no outline then align center align middle then what i'm going to do is i'm going to rotate this shape so this particular curve should be at the top for that hold the alt key and use the left arrow key to rotate can you see here three times you need to press it then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate let me just give some different color combinations again align center align middle then again now i'm going to this uh, rotate to right for that alt one two you can see here if you want it becomes like this so don't do that only two times and then i want to add one more again press ctrl d you can see here one more has been added now let me just change the color to some other color again align center align middle now towards the left i'm going to do it so all one two three four you can see here it shows something like this then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select all right mouse click go to format object increase the transparency here Okay, a little bit, maybe 25 to 30 percent. Just increase the transparency. You end up getting a shape, something like this. Maybe I just recolor this one. Maybe I want to recolor this to uh, this color. And uh, this color, I want to recolor to this one. And then send this to back. Okay, even this to back. So you can see here, we end up getting a shape, something like this. Now I'm going to cover this area with a circle. So go to insert shapes, select the basic shape, hold the shift key so that you get a perfect circle. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline shape fill, make it wide align center align middle. So you can see here, we got a shape, something like this. And for this, you can give some shadow effect for that. Go to the effects, shadow, presets. I'm going to select from center. If you want to increase the size here, you can see here. And if you want to increase the blur size also, you can increase the blur size. So this is the center design is almost ready. I'm going to add one more oval shape. Go to insert shapes, select the oval shape draw a oval shape or somewhat bigger again hold the shift key shape outline i'm going to give some gray outline and shape fill i'm going to make it no fill then again align center align middle so you can see here our the center design is ready now it's time to add a 12 outer circles now i'm going to add uh, three uh, circles at the top uh, three at the right three bottom and three left so for that i'm going to select this uh, circle press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here for this i'm going to remove the shadow effect uh, for temporary and later on we can give some different shadow effect and then go to format shape 
the size maybe i'm just going to make it maybe 1.10 let's see 1.10 if required we can increase the size also i'm just going to put it here and then i'm going to select this uh, square or rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here then hold the shift key reduce the size all right then bring it here something like this okay at the center and then send this to back so we end up getting shape something like this maybe i'll just make it more up okay you can see here something like this and then i'm selecting both of this press ctrl g to group it so and then if you want to give some shadow effect also you can just select this and then maybe you can give the shadow effect which is uh, say this one offset bottom something like this okay now i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate i'm just going to add one here ctrl d one more towards the left and make sure that the equal spacing is there and select all these three by holding the shift key align and make it top then i'm just going to group it press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it comes to the right side rotate you can see here i'm just rotate right 90 degrees and then put three more options here press ctrl d to duplicate come towards the left and again rotate you can see here i can make it flip horizontal and add the three options here and make sure that the space are equal all right and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it down and then rotate i can just say flip vertical and then just place it here and make sure that the equal spaces has been given maybe i think this is okay once this is done what i'm going to do is hold the shift key you can see here i'm selecting all the outer circles then right mouse click group and ungroup it okay so we uh, got a uh, 12 outer circles now let's uh, connect all these uh, oval shapes uh, with the line so go to insert shapes i'm going to choose the line you can see here select the line and then just put it in the center if you want you can just connect it let me just remove the guides okay then press ctrl d you can just do it for this So if you want you can connect all or if you want just leave it as it is without connecting the center only so it's up to you and then again bring the other side again just now this one is all right so something like this and make sure that uh, the line color also we need to change it later on so now let's start from the center okay for this this will be here if you want you can just hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line okay and again press ctrl d so just do it for the rest of the options one by one again press ctrl d so something like this so i just did for two you can just uh, complete the remaining for the other two sets so you can see here i've added all the lines now what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to select the lines by holding the shift key i need to select all the lines you can see here just click one by one make sure to hold the shift key now all the lines has been selected you can just go to the line options okay and then here you can see here begin arrow type i can select the oval arrow and the end arrow type also i can select the oval arrow so 
I got the ovals here the at the bot at the beginning at the end and then what we need to do is we need to change the color you can see here the purple color is for this and this one is for the blue color all right so i'm just going to select this shape only and then we need to go to shape format and then i need to just change it to this color now you can see here for this it is let me just select this okay and then change to this one likewise we need to do it one by one or the better way we have group it right so let me just ungroup it i'm just going to select one by one all by holding the shift key okay and then right mouse click and ungroup it then i can just choose the different shapes here see this shape i have selected so this is blue this is blue hold the shift key otherwise it will not happen and again this is blue okay then i'm just going to change the color to blue and then this one uh this one we can see here this this as well as this it will be the orange so let me just change to orange one here and again the lines also this line this line this and this will be blue color okay and uh, this one this you can see the purple one i'm just selecting and i'm just changing to the purple line and the other one this one you can see here all these things i'm just going to change to orange lines okay so with this uh, we have completed our uh, design part now it's time to add the text so to add the text go to insert text box and i'm just going to type say title make it bold reduce the size maybe to 12 and put it here in the center okay then go to insert again text box i'm going to say add detail text here again center align maybe you can give some gray color reduce the size to maybe 8 or 9 so depending on the requirement and then just put it here all right then i'm just going to select both of this by holding the shift key press ctrl g to group it then ctrl d to duplicate and now add it on to the each oval shape you can see here just press ctrl d and keep on adding it ctrl d let me just add it here you can see here like this you can just add one by one so let me just complete this press ctrl d again if you want to change the title colors also according to the square shape you can do it or if you want you just can you can just keep a uh, black also so this is the last one all right and then your main headline will come in the center go to insert text box and then just type your headline center align make it bold increase the size and put it aligned to the center you can see here with this we have uh, completed the the design part and if you want to do some basic animation you can just simple add uh, some animation effect according to your uh, requirement